We are in the middle of a series. It's very enlightening, this series. And I'm talking about the power of connections, the advantages of subtle connections in our lives. If we are pursuing our purpose and we're pursuing our ideas and so on, how can we benefit from subtle connections? What are these subtle connections, you might ask? These are things that come into your life not because you've looked for them, but they have actually looked for you and they've been attracted into your life by virtue of what you are doing in the moment. That you are basically doing something and the universe, so to speak, recognizes that, hey, wait a minute, this guy is onto something and we need to connect him to this and this and that. And the rest, as they say, is history. I'm going to tell you something here. They, there's a person that I've interviewed on these episodes, episode number 922. It's called Gerald. Gerald is dealing with recycling plastics. And I got to know Gerald because of a connection in one of the Uganda's leading tourism ambassadors called Amos Wakesa, who posted Gerald's story on his Facebook and the rest, as they say, is history. But anyway, let us today look at the second advantage of subtle connections in our lives. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. There are people of purpose all around us. And every time you listen to their stories, you come to one conclusion that without people, without connections, without subtle connections, they wouldn't have made it. Sometimes these subtle connections are those ones that we look for. We actually know that I need help. And so we take the first step, maybe a step of faith, to go looking for that connection. And such is the story of a man called Professor Patrick Ogwang. I interviewed him on episode number 901 and episode number 908 on our Wednesday's conversation section or segment. And his story of connection is important. At 14 years of age, he knew for sure he was smart and he was going to be somebody. He knew that he needed help. He knew that his mom who was a single mother, could not afford school fees for him to go to high school. Even though the results were not out, he was 100% sure that he was going to pass with flying colors, and he actually did. So what happened? Those were the days in the 80s, actually, when the region where he comes from in Uganda was marred by rebels, people who were resisting the government, and so there was a lot of upheaval. But he decides in that particular moment in time, he decides, I am going to go to the capital city, a place he's never been before. And I'm going to look for my uncle, and I'm going to tell him my story, and I'm going to ask for his help. And he, by providence, divine providence, gets a lorry that was actually traveling to Kampala from neighbors. And by sheer divine appointment, He had never been to Kampala before and he was going to a place called Bugolobi. And by divine providence, this lorry was actually going to a place called Luzira, which necessarily had to pass through Bugolobi when they arrived in Kampala. 
And so they dump him, okay, they leave him in Bugolobi, in Kampala, in the vicinity where his uncle stays. And so he starts knocking on the doors, looking for his uncle. Okay, he goes to a police station and then he finds his uncle through connections. Now his uncle pays for his school fees to go to Tororo College, St. Peter's Tororo College. He graduates, goes to Makerere University where he gets government sponsorship and so on. And right now, he is the inventor of Covidex. Covidex is uh, something that we've used in Uganda. When the second wave of COVID hit Uganda so hard, this man's friend was in dire straits. So much so that he decided, let me try and look at some of the medicines I've come up with that cure viral infections. And by chance, Covidex just came into existence. And the second wave dwindled since Covidex was bought off the, sh the, the, the shelves. And as we speak right now, there are very few deaths that are being announced out of COVID-19 in Uganda. Of course, maybe and the rest of the world. But my point is made here that if you remove the subtle connection of Professor Oguang's uncle in his life, guess what? There is no Covidex. There is no Professor Oguang. There is no respite in very many other things that he's doing. It's not just in COVID. He has something that can help sickle cell anemia people. He has something that can help people with pressure. And it's purely natural. He has a solution for malaria. Do you believe this? That if this man's connection, subtle connection had not been there, he probably will never be where he is. And let me tell you, the second benefit of connections, subtle connections, is simply this. We get resources. Right? We get resources. All of us need resources to pursue our purpose, to pursue our ideas, to pursue our goals, to be able to overcome. We need resources. Professor Guang needed resources. I needed resources. And you cannot have all those things in and of yourself at all times. You need someone who has it. So you need some kind of providence from someone else who has it. And therefore, subtle connections come into our lives to do exactly that. To usher us into a place where we have a connection between the ideas that we are pursuing and the resources that we need for those ideas. I am speaking in this episode and I'm speaking with this podcast. I'm speaking with this equipment because of a connection that happened. If there was no that connection, I will not be having this equipment. Resources. See, every time you hear people talking about lack of capital as perhaps the most spoken of detriment to succeeding, you know that, right? It could be true, but it could also be false. The truth is that at times, the part of visioning is with the author of the vision or the bearer of the vision. And the part of the funding of the vision is always going to be with someone else. Therefore, we need to learn the idea or the art of connecting to get these resources from somebody else. We've got to learn that. And it's going on. Even in this day and in this age, there is funding for startups. There is grants being issued for startups. There are loans being given for startups. But you get my point that the idea of resources is done through subtle connections. I've talked about Steve Jobs and I've talked about Steve Wozniak and Mark Makula. Steve Jobs and Wozniak came up with an idea, but they did not have money. They needed a resource of 250000 initially, $250,000 from Mark Makula to be able to scale their business. Without that connection, we will not be hearing about Apple. Of course, Amazon is the biggest company, maybe the, probably the richest in the world at the moment, but he needed 300000 of his parents' savings to get started. $300,000, of course. See, there's a scripture in Isaiah, I think in Proverbs 16, 1, that says, The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue are from God. The preparation of the heart are in man 
But the answer of the tongue is from God. It means that your part for now is to download the vision and to plan for it. The financing is allocated to somebody else. That's what it means. And that is a subtle connection. That is what a subtle connection can do for you. However, this kind of connection is so particular on value huh? and impact. It is not just about being given money. The, the same Professor Oguang, if you listen to him in episode number 908, he will say, I don't just give people money. I look for people, if people are going to ask me, give me money to buy food and so on, I, I think they are unserious. But if someone comes to me and tells me, I have this idea and I think it can give us this and this, it can solve this problem and that, he's ready to fund that idea. You get my point? My point is that we need subtle connections when we have value and impact and we are needing resources. The second advantage of a subtle connection in our lives is that it gives us resources. These resources are connected to value and impact and if what you're pursuing does not generate impact and provide value this kind of connection is going to elude you very very much even if someone had a hoard of cash they don't want to give it to you because money is attracted by value actually if you spell value and you spell money they are the same letters i think they're five letters each but this value and this money is connected by a subtle connections. So your part is to show the value. And the part of the subtle connection is to fund the money for the value. The rest, as they say, is history. So if you're pursuing what does not generate impact and provide value, this kind of connection could be very elusive. In other words, you have it easier to access to such subtle connections if you have clarified your value and you can show the impact of your vision. I've talked to very many people who have clarified their vision, they've clarified their business ideas and they've gotten funding, they've gotten help from one area or another and it's happening on a daily basis as we speak. So the second advantage of subtle connections which we have discussed today is that it gives you access to resources. Tomorrow we'll look at something else. But until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.